Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Suka Mao. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe down below. If you're about to watch another recipe, karibu sana. Yes, another week, another recipe. And today, I'm going to be making one of the most requested recipe, which is a banana cake. And I hope you guys try it. And if you do, you like it. As usual, make sure you comment down below. Let me know how it turns out. Thank you to everyone who's been trying out my recipes. And I'm glad that most of you are getting to enjoy it. Let me know also if you'd like me to bake anything or cook anything of your interest. And I'm going to make it happen. Without further ado, let's get into the ingredients. For our dry ingredients, we're going to need two cups of whole wheat flour. And whole wheat is more beneficial and healthier than the white one which is bleached or the outside covering has already been taken off so we are opting to go for the healthier one and these are two cups of whole wheat flour we're going to need half a cup of powdered sugar have half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of cardamom. You can use cinnamon instead of cardamom if you want to. Mix them up together. Set it aside. On a separate bowl, we are going to need three very ripe bananas, and this is what is going to give our cake the sweetness that is required. This one is actually very, very ripe. Using a fork, mash them up, or you can use a potato masher. That's a good consistency. Next, we are going to need half a cup of oil. And I'm going in with my canola oil. You can use whichever oil of your choice. And half a cup of regular milk. These are our wet ingredients, so just mix them up together. Mix the dry ingredients together with the wet ingredients. I forgot to incorporate my two eggs, so I'm just going to put them in there. Thank God I remembered before it was too late. <clears throat> just mix them up together gently you don't have to use any force I know eggs are the most important things to mix with the wet ingredients but it is what it is You can add some vanilla extract if you want to. Uh, I choose not to use it because the bananas already are very <clears throat> overpowering, so I don't think I need vanilla. Our cake mix is ready. 
you're going to put it in the baking pan you'll need a baking pan make sure you put some butter on it spread it or you can spray and then pour in your mixture You can also incorporate some nuts or raisins or chocolate if you have. Our mix is going to go into the oven for 45 minutes. I'm going to go in with a little of raisins as a topping. don't have to it's optional and a little of sesame seed Our cake is going to go into the oven for 45 minutes when it gets to around 40 minutes you can check if it's ready if it's browning on the outside and it's not ready on the inside you can cover it with foil um, just to make sure it doesn't get burnt our banana cake is finally ready and it looks really yummy we are going to take it off the pan and try it Look at that it's very brown and looks really yummy that's how the top looks like and we're going to cut it and see what the inside looks like I hope you can try it and enjoy with your family if you try the recipe and you like it please comment down below and let me know how it turned out until our next video bye